All right, everybody, what's going on? SBN Lifestyle here. Uh, I'm doing a really quick video here. This video is not going to be long at all. I'm just going to be explaining really fast why I think that evolution and other ideas that certain men have told us may have happened or has happened why I just think that they are false and when I say these things I'm not coming at you as an individual I'm just coming at the idea of these things you know that's it I'm coming at the idea of these things for one no I never ever would think that we came from something else. I think we always been human beings. You know, when a man has sex with a woman, it makes a boy or a girl. Um, dinosaurs, when dinosaurs were around, they became extinct because something made them extinct something killed them off and then the littler things survived because they didn't need as much food and then the fossils that we see those became extinct for some reason too but they were always what they were you know i don't think that they came from something else or evolved over time you know i don't think anything ever evolved um and like neanderthals all that quote Neanderthals, they labeled these things as that and then they tried to make us believe it. But all that a Neanderthal, quote Neanderthal is, to me is a person or an ape with a deformed skull. That's all it is. And then they said, oh, look, here's the proof that we evolved from apes or something. I, I just think it's ridiculous. And Charles Darwin, he was the one that came up with this concept that things evolved. And, you know, over time, this happened, you know, like this thing slowly turned into this thing. No, no, I don't, I don't go for that. And I don't see here's where I stand in my life. And it's really weird. I don't call myself or label myself as anything. I'm not religious. I don't have a belief system. I don't call myself a spiritual teacher. I don't label myself as anything, you see. And this is the problem with these mere men is that they claim themselves to be wise when really they're fools. You know, there's a saying like that. Just because these men did research on this stuff and they wrote in a book and they put all their time into something, that doesn't mean that it's true. You know, that doesn't mean that it really happened because none of us really know what happened hundreds of thousands of years ago. But I do not think that we evolved. I just do not think that. And I will leave you with this because I don't want to make a video long on this. I had made a 20 minute video before this, but I'm not uploading that. It was just way too much. But here's the thing that I am most, that scrambles my brain the most is that, okay, we have a man with a penis and he has sperm. And then we have a woman with a vagina and she has breasts for milk for the child and then she has a womb. So here's the thing. Where did the first human come from? A baby cannot just come from nowhere. A baby cannot raise themselves up. They just can't come about and be on a beach or in a forest or on the land or in a jungle or anywhere, it's just not possible. And, you know, okay, if we have the mother and the father, well, where did the first mother come from? The, <clears throat> the mother was once a baby, was she not? 
You see, these are the questions that I asked myself and now I don't get into it no more. You know, I, I don't even think about these concepts. I let them go. You know, I don't get into the whole argument thing about it, trying to prove things because none of us can prove anything. We just can't prove anything. But for me to think that we just came about like an accident or something and like a man just has a penis that goes into a vagina and then it ha then it ejaculates and then it the sperm goes into the egg and then it makes a, a little egg and then that develops into a child over time from the mother's womb. Well, where did the first mother come from? You see, where did the first man come from? See, this this is this is something that no one can wrap their minds around and you may not be understanding completely what I'm saying here. If you go the whole way back to the very beginning, whatever the beginning is, it's like maybe there is a creator that brought this about. Do I know that? No, I don't know that for sure. But I definitely don't go for this thing that over time we came from this one little cell and then that cell formed into a little, you know, tadpole like thing or something else. I'm just using that as an example. And then it grew legs and then it developed hearing and seeing and taste and touch and it grew over time. It grew a neck and arms and shoulders and feet and elbows and eyes and teeth and a heart and veins and all this stuff it, it just i don't know i just i just don't think certain people have and i'm not saying you're better or worse but i just some people i don't think they have the same mind state as other people to really see this and really look at it for what it is because i go back to this whole thing with where did the first person come from really really think about this you know a baby just can't come into the world it needs the nurturing of the mother it needs the mother's breast milk or it needs food it needs someone to take care of it it cannot come up on its own so where was the first father and mother for the first baby you see it doesn't make sense D if the baby can't grow up on its own wh who was there for the baby when it first came about see this is why it it's i just can't wrap my mind around it you know um It's kind of like the only conclusion that I can come to is that we were created. But on the other hand, see, I, I don't know. It's really weird. I'm in a really weird spot with this because I'm not religious and I'm not so many of these labels that people put to other people. But yet I just can't go for these things that men have made up or claimed to know. And then these belief systems that we have. It just, it's just putting us in a circle and it's making us think that we know things that we really don't. And I, I don't know. I don't know what I can even call myself because... It's like, man, we had to have been brought up from a designer or something. You know, that's the only conclusion that I can really come up with. But yet I don't believe in God. You know, um, if there is a God, then God is God. You know, I don't, I don't sit here and drive myself crazy trying to think of who God is or what God is or why God allows the things that God allows if God is really real. But uh, the whole evolution thing was just a concept made up by a man a long time ago. 
in the 1800s, Charles Darwin, and then people believed what he said. And, you know, we have these fossils and we have these other things, but that doesn't prove anything, you know? it. It's all it is, is it's a deformed skull that they found. It's some skull that was either ape or man that was disformed, deformed, and then the whole evolution thing, there is not one single thing of evidence of any people with webbed feet or, you know, an ape man and all this stuff. It's like humans have always been humans. And like people in Russia that have been in the cold, they never developed extra hair on their body to protect their body. They always been humans. They have always been the same as you and I, with the same arms, the same hands, the same everything. They're no different. You know, just because they live in a cold region, nothing has changed about their body. Just because people that live in the hot climates, they didn't develop some kind of mechanism in their body to cool themselves down. They're humans. When they get hot, they overheat and they can die of a stroke or something else. You know, we always been humans. When a man has sex with a woman, he has a boy or a girl. When an ape has sex with an ape, it has an ape. You know, when a lizard mates with a lizard, it has another lizard. You know, it doesn't uh, form other limbs and grow other things, you know. Um, and, and like I said, I don't want to make it an argument or try to prove anything. But I let that concept go a long time ago. I, I just don't get into it no more because it really gets us nowhere, really. It gets me nowhere. And uh, if that's something that someone is interested in, you know, you can do research on stuff. But believe nothing, question everything is my motto. Believe nothing, question everything. Because right when you believe something, then you are saying, oh, this is what I believe now. And I'm not, I don't have any room for common sense or logical thinking or reasoning or understanding of reality you see you you hold on to that pride and ego when you say i believe in this thing and i'm not saying that you do but that's why i say let go of all beliefs let go of all religions let go of all of these strongholds and these standards and all that stuff because all it does is it just keeps your mind thinking of more what is the answer what is the answer there's no proof what's the proof you know it'll kind of drive you nuts so that's why i don't even really get into it no more and i i really didn't want to make a video on this but that's okay because i know a lot of people you know they may not understand that these are only concepts that were brought up by other men by mere men like you and i and people automatically believed it and you see how, how I say beliefs are can be dangerous. They can get you into trouble. And that's why I would say don't believe in anything. Go by the facts. Go by reality. Go by what is in the now. You know, that's what I would say. So that's just a little bit of, of that. You know, there's a lot more stuff that I could talk about. I'm not going to get too deep into it. So that's it for that. That's my view on that. So thanks for watching. Later on, SBN Lifestyle.